Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Squarespace. More on that later in the video. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. Today's video is another plant haul. Now I actually have a few different things to show you. One of them might just be a wish list plant, which I'm very, very excited about. The sun is coming out. It's probably going to overexpose my camera, but we'll ignore it. I also really need to change up my frame. The shop is extremely messy right now. You can't see it, but every single aisle is kind of full of plants. I'm a little bit full up, so I need to clear it out. So for now, you're just going to have to keep with this frame. A lot of the plants I have to show you today are going to be available in the shop soon. As of filming this, I've had these in for well over a week, approaching two weeks now, maybe more actually. But obviously by the time you see this, it'll be even further in the future. So please bear that in mind when I talk about them. And I think we will just get started. I'm just going to pick them up in any old order. I have some really interesting things to show you today. So let's get started. The first plant I have to show you today, its it looks a bit miserable. It's not. It just really needs a cut, so I'm going to cut it. You may have already seen me cut this plant, depending on which order you see this video in. I'm doing a repot with me immediately after this. If I've shown you it before this, then this is basically the plant that I decided to chop in that video, because as you can see, it needs a chop. My goodness me. I'll rotate it around. Ew, a bit of dead coming off it. It's looking pretty good, though. Lots and lots of choppable nudes. Let me just show you there. Oh, it is looking good, is it not? Obviously, my plant pot is very disgusting and dirty, but it's fine. It's mainly just clay from the lecker most of the time. So yeah, that's him. Not too much to say about him, other than he has fantastic variegation, can we all agree? Obviously, when I chop him, he's going to go a little bit juvenile, but that's him. He's got some lovely variegation coming through. If I can get his newest leaves up to the camera a little bit better, you should be able to see how pretty it is. It is a bit dirty. It's got a bit of clay on it, as I say. They've been in a while, but I haven't done anything to spruce them up. I've just kind of let them acclimate on their own. Plus, I've had a bit of time off. I've been really busy, so I'm a little bit behind on these things. So he does look a bit stupid, not gonna lie, but we will be cleaning him up, we will be chopping him, and we will be propping him. He will obviously be out in, you know, a period of time. He's not gonna be out anytime soon, but he's a great starting point, is he? Not. If I just hold him up one more time, I won't spend too long on him. Not a lot to say about him. There you go. How pretty is he? Really, really nice plant. So this is Monstera Laniolata variegated. I think I have Leschleriana as well. The next plant I'd like to show you. I actually have a few of these already. Now, I don't think I actually have that many of them left because I sold a lot of them. A while ago, I did repot my own version of this and I put it on a pole, which I actually don't know where it is. Oh, it's in that corner over there. And it's nowhere near as big as this one. But I found some larger specimens and I'm definitely going to be putting them up for sale. I'll probably keep one back, but I'm going to sell the rest. But I really want to show you it so that you can see what they actually look like mature. Because the one I have is not that impressive. It's getting there, don't get me wrong, but it's not as impressive as these guys. So I have to, have to, have to show you this because it looks great. So the next plant I'd like to show you is this. Let me stand back with them so you can see. This is Philodendron longilobatum leano miano. I think that's how you say it. But I have to show you how amazing these are because I don't know if everybody knows because everyone just sees juvenile ones. So I want to show you this on camera because you need to understand how amazing this is. That is the plant next to my head. How big is that? I'm going to show you it up close so you can really get a sense. I appreciate when I do these videos, guys, it's not the easiest thing in the world to show you these plants when my background has a lot of plants in it. I might try and work on that at some point so that sometimes I can do a video where you can, you can just see the plants against the background a bit more. I will work on that, but until such time, should I stand back with this so you can actually Oh my God, it's a big plant. Can you tell how big that plant is? I think this plant is indicative of the size that I'm going to have in. I might chop them up and propagate them and then sell them, or I might actually just sell them the way they are. I'm not sure. If they end up on the shop's website, then you will know what I've decided to do by the size of them, of course. But I have to show you how amazing they are. Look at that. The internodal spacing on them is pretty decent, by the way. It's quite close. It's not super viney or anything else. See if I can just hold that up to the camera a little bit there so you can actually see. There you go. Really nice meaty aerials developing as well. But ooh, literally look at this. Where's his big leaf gone? Is this it here? I think this is one of his big leaves. It's not the only one. There's one here that looks pretty amazing. They do grow slightly differently per leaf. As you can see, these whiskers here, they're sort of the same. The plant can vary a little bit in appearance. I'll show you this one. 
Still whiskers, but it's just looking a lot different. My God, that is just huge. That is just huge. Do you know what I mean? They're not quite all the same. This one has less wiggle and it's more just a little bit of whisker. But generally, this is what you're kind of getting with this plant. It's a little bit like a Spiritus Sancti in some ways. Of course, it's not identical. I'm pretty sure I featured this in the dupes video that I did. I think it was like last year. Or it might have even been in 2020. So it is a cool one if you like that kind of plant, if you like things like Spiritus or you like just something long, just a long boy that's a philodendron, this is your boy. See, I'll just show you this other one again, just so you can really see how awesome they are. So yeah, the other ones I've got, I'm looking at them now. I only have a couple, but they're pretty much this size. So let me know if you're interested in this or you're interested in if I did them smaller sizes because I don't really feel like cutting them. I think they're so pretty like that. That's like a ready-made plant for someone to just have. So I'll keep one and I think I'll just keep the rest as they are. But anyway, that is Philodendron Longolobatum. The next plant I'm going to show you is probably definitely going to stay at this size. Now, I bought this plant in a lot, a lot over the years and I've chopped and propped it and I just find that they grow too slow. So for me, the turnaround is probably better to buy something a little bit bigger and sell it on that way rather than me grow it out from a little cutting. I have here a plant that honestly, I don't... I don't love them when they're growing out from a cutting, but I do when they're mature. When they're mature, they look fantastic, but to get them there is a bit of work. So knowing that, I'm probably not going to cut these for you guys. I'm going to leave them as they are to give someone the best chance of having a nice one. So I would like to show you, and this is very pretty, by the way. This might change your mind on this plant. We'll see. I'm delighted to show you a beautiful philodendron strawberry shake. Now, I will try and rotate him the best I can, but he has a lot of leaves and he has a lot of variegation, guys. He has a lot. I have, I think I only have two or three of these, but how pretty are they? So the variegation comes in, like this is a newer leaf, so it's a bit yellowy, but the variegation does come in more of like a milky color. I don't know if you can see, that is a bit more like a milky pinky yellowy color. It's really hard to explain. And I appreciate on camera now, it might just look really yellow, but I promise you it's not. So obviously you get these beautiful pink petioles all over the plant. Can you see that? Yes, you can. They look incredible. Let me just put that in front of the camera. You get these beautiful pink petioles and then you get this gorgeous, gorgeous variegation that looks a bit like that. Not quite yellow. Obviously this one next to it is, but that is a new leaf. Not super new. It's the second newest, actually. The newest newest has actually taken a bit of a beating and is round about here. They're very beautiful plants though, they really are. And I know I've said I hate them and I honestly, I do because of the work it takes to get them to look like this. If they could just grow like this straight away, I wouldn't even say that about this plant. I would love this plant so much because I honestly think it looks beautiful, really, really does. They just work guys, they just work. But this one's nice. So I think if you get them this size, then great. Don't go wrong if you like the, the pain of growing them out from a cutting, feel free. But it's not for me. You feel me? It's not for me. So there you have it. Really, really beautiful, beautiful plant. There, you can kind of see the color there a little bit. It's not quite yellow, is it? It's just, I don't know what you would call that. It's not yellow. It's not pink. It is sort of a cream color in the middle, a pinky cream color. He looks so nice. He looks so, 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 so nice. Yes, let me know what you think of these. Let me know if this changes your opinion on the strawberry shake, because it does for me, but not ultimately. I still hate them. I still wouldn't grow one out from a tiny one, but if you can get your hands on them when they're like this and shove them on a pole, hey, you might be in luck. One more quick whiz of the petioles so you can see how pretty they are. Oh, what I should show you, and I haven't shown you, is the back of the leaves. Which one would be a good one? Might just have to be this one. If you see anything on the leaves, by the way, it's pesticide sprayed. It's nothing really bad. If I just show you that there, can you see how pretty the backs of the leaves are? Honestly, it's just, oh, it's delightful. There, if I hold that up as well, oh, they're just, they're, they really are nice. But to be fair, this is a really great specimen as well. This is quite um, variegated. I would definitely call that a strong specimen. Done about you, but that's probably what you'd want. Philodendron strawberry shake. My opinion hasn't changed, but they look lovely like this. Okay, this next plant, I honestly feel like I found like the next cute thing that everyone might want. Now, people might disagree with me, I don't know, but I happen to think these are absolutely adorable. And I'm pretty sure the idea is correct. They don't feel quite the same, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that is what they are. So I have in my hands a type of Spathophyllum. And I think I just purchased it as Spathophyllum Ghost, but it's really cute, guys. It's small, but it's it's really cute. And I do have some of these as well. I'm gonna keep on back for myself because they're adorable. They're so cute. 
If you're looking for an easy way to build and run your own website, then look no further than Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to create your own website from the ground up using a selection of stylish and super customizable templates. Not only that, but Squarespace helps me optimize my visibility on the internet by showing me what people are searching for in order to find my shop. For example, here you can see various ways of Googling my shop name, plus a search for a specific house plan, which is the Philodendron Whipple Way, which was a bit of a surprise to me, actually. If you want to create a really sleek, efficient website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a web shop like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it for voiceover, Kaylee. Back to the video. So I just show you the plant. Notice this plant here. If I put my hand in front of it so you actually get a good focus on it. Sorry, that's like a... This does look a little bit yellowy right? And for whatever reason, when the leaves emerge, they seem to come through a kind of yellowy mint. Like it's mint, but it's yellowy. But I promise you, they do actually harden down to an actual minty ghost color. Really, really strange. So for whatever reason, they just have this yellow tone when they come through. And I can actually see the newest leaf coming through here as well. I don't know if you'll be able to get it on camera or not. Let's have a go. Yeah, it's coming through more yellowy, but then it turns to a cream and then it turns to a mint color. Look at that. There's the older leaves. So I don't quite understand it. I don't know if you could call it a full ghost. I don't know if that's the actual name or not, by the way, guys. I just, I took an opportunity. I saw them. I bought them. Here we are. Um, I don't know how many I've got. Hang on. Oh, six, maybe. We'll say six, providing they're all good to go on the roots. I've got about six of these. But let me know what you think of these, because I, I probably have to take this to my house. It is so, so cute. And I think I really need a nice sort of frosted pot for it, maybe. I don't know. I would love to try and do some self-watering stuff, by the way, and just find a way of getting it into an artisan pot. I think that would be really cool. I'm not sure if it's going to work, so we'll have to see. But anyway, not the point. It does have little pops around the base as well. I can see two growing in. If you have a Strelitzia at home, you probably know that they can pop quite nicely. So I think if you buy one of these and you want to propagate it or you want to grow more of them, literally just leave it be. Just leave it be. Feed it well. It should pop. Happy days. That is what I believe to be Spathophyllum ghost. And I will show you it up again because honestly, the leaf, it, it doesn't make sense to me the way it comes in yellow, but they're literally they're all doing it. That is how it seems to grow. And then I show you the actual mintiness. Check that out. Oh my God. That is just so hot. It's so hot. It's so tiny. Literally, that's my hand. That's my head. It is a very, very tiny plant, but it's so, so, so cute. And I tell you something, I've never seen anybody talk about these. I don't know if people know about them or don't know about them or no one cares or, or what really. But since Spathophyllum is such a, I guess it's a common plant, but do you know what I mean? Like a lot of people have them in their homes or whatnot. I think this could be a really nice addition if you want to collect something a little bit different, but it's not going to break the bank because a lot of mint stuff does. And believe me, we will get to that. But it's just a really nice alternative. So one more time before I put it down, hopefully it will focus. But can I twirl it around to show you more mint if I just put it that way? There. That is what I believe to be, guys. Spathophyllum mint. And it's beautiful. And I'm very, very excited about them. I also have something else to show you that I know you guys will love because everyone says they love them. And I'm very, very excited to have found some sizable specimens. They're actually bigger than mine. And I've had mine for a year because these things don't grow very quickly. I should tell you that. I think I already have told you that. But anyway, what am I talking about? I'm talking about, and bear with me because they will color up. I'm talking about these... Can you tell what they are, guys? I hope you can. You can sort of see a tiny bit of color coming off on camera. I'm not saying it's strong because it isn't. These are a little bit more on the, the greeny, petrol side. But this is Microsorum thailandicum, and they are quite large. You can see the wonderful spores under the leaves, by the way. I have to show you this. Look how cool that is. I just have to show you this. I love this so much. Look at that. Oh my God, it looks so cool. So that's him there. I have a few of these as well because I know everyone, everyone asks me about these. I get messages all the time about it. I don't feel like it's super easy to source larger ones. I know when I sourced them last, I could only find smaller ones. So I'm really pleased to have found some of these and I will just be acclimating these and, and getting these straight out, I think. But if I could just try and show you to the camera, obviously there's a leaf there that's had a little bit of, you know, 
slack, shall we say. This one here is a bit, bit ill and the tip of that one's not doing as great. But honestly, guys, have a little look at that. Can you tell the colour that it will go? I think you can. Obviously, it is a bit dirty. If I just hold it back, you can see the colour it will go. If you are not familiar with the colour it will go and you think this is not impressive, let me just show you mine because it's just over here. Just so you can really understand what these guys turn into because it's not something you want to sleep on, guys. So I'm dribbling everywhere, but they turn into this. These are the same plant, okay? This just has had good light. It's been fed well. It's been here a while and it's just, it's happy. And these have just come in and they've been growing in completely different conditions. Look what you can get out of it. Not photoshopped, not anything. That is the color they can go. That's the color these guys are right now. But believe me when I say they will color up because this guy did. Look at him go. He is so amazing. So honestly, really happy to have found these. And I'm happy to have found them at this size because that's the size I've ordered in. That's the one that I've had for a while. That has got significantly bigger, the one I own, but oof, literally. Can you imagine how amazing that's going to be when it colors? Can you even imagine? Oh my God. I'm going to put this down because I've actually just juiced everywhere. So yeah, that's him, Microsorum Thailandicum. He don't look like much now, but I promise you he will go very, very blue. You can, can you see any blue? Oh yeah, you can see it's in there for sure. It's got a beautiful tone to it, even when it's not blue, to be honest. Definitely see the blue is just waiting to just fire up. There you go. Really, really pretty. So pleased to have found them. Okay, I'm not going to linger on this too long, but I just want to let you know that I found some more of these too, because I know there's been a lot of interest in these. Now, not everyone likes these, I get it, but I really, really do. Mine is just down here. It's a bit of a nicer specimen than this one, but this one is popping away anyway. I have a couple of these, I think I might have three or four of these as well, that obviously I'm not planning on cutting. I'm going to probably just let mine pop and sell those, but these I'm just going to keep as whole specimens. Bit of shipping damage here, what can you do? This is what happens with sectoral variegation. But did I even mention what they were? I don't think I did. This is Aglaonema Manila's Pride and it's just, oh, it's so good. Look at the variegation, man. Just honestly, look at the variegation. How nice is that? How pretty is that? Now my experience, if you do own one of these or you want to own one of these, you will get pups out of them so fast. So, so, so fast. They will propagate on their own. You don't need to do anything you will have pups in no time at all. They are ridiculous. I have two active pups growing on that one. Here, clearly, you can see that there is a pup waiting to happen on this one and grow out. And no doubt the other ones have pups on. They all do. They all came in like that. So they pop so quickly that even the growers giving these to me haven't removed them because they must just pop really, really fast. That tells me that they pop quite quickly. So if you're wanting to give some of these out to your friends, if you want to buy them to sell them, you're going to not really have any problems. You might just have to repot more so that you can remove them and things like that, but you should be fine. I don't know if you can see on this, but there's actually another bud that's activating there. Can you see that? Literally, if I zoom it past the pup there, there's another bud there that's wanting to activate as well. They root brilliantly, by the way. Super tough, super amazing. They grow beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's a nice plant, and I know I've mentioned this before. If you want a bushy plant and not a plant that grows up something, these are great. This is one of the reasons why I love these plants so much. And this one is no less beautiful. It's actually the most star-shaped. That's why I picked it up. I think this is the least variegated one out of all the ones I have, actually, because I'm looking at some over there, and they're ridiculous. But this one just presented nice like that on camera. The others are sat together, so they're a little bit more fluted, but this is more of a star shape, so thought I'd show you that. Anyway, not gonna linger. I know you've seen it a million times, but really, really pretty plant. Aglaonema Manila's Pride. Beautiful. So the next plant I have to show you, it did look a lot better, but because I've had these in a while and I've taken some time off, I haven't been able to haul them when they were at their best, so to speak. That's probably gonna fall out. It's quite large. Um, so just bear with it, I guess. Yep, it's fallen out. It's fallen out. Excellent. Well, I'm going to have to just pull it out. And it's a good job because all the roots have snapped. Well, 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 well. I'm going to have to do something about that. Maybe this is a divine sign for the next plant I have to show you. It's going to look like a sorry sight now. It's literally snapped and it's rotting. Excellent. Not good, guys. But this is what happens when you bring things in from overseas. I'm going to show you what I have to deal with because this is very common occurrence at the shop. So the next plant I have to show you is this guy. He's lovely, isn't he? He's so good. He's so big, for starters. This is variegated philodendron billeti. And if you want to know how big he is, this is, it's well on the way to my torso. It's that big. That is absolutely beautiful. So he has this leaf here. He has this one here, which is also very green. He did have 
this one here, which I think you can see where the variegation was. And then he has this leaf here that is also going, but the genetics of the plant are good. So it's not too bad. Now what has happened here, this is how I got the plant. If you're wondering what happens when you buy from overseas, that's basically what you get. And honestly, they've kind of gone already. That just feels, there's fleshiness, but they've snapped here. And yeah, it just needs chopped and then rerouted. Hopefully I won't lose that. So I guess I'm happy that that came out of the pot on camera. Otherwise I wouldn't know that. So I will have to tackle that today and see what happens with it. But how impressive is this? I would love a Bilitai in my house this tall. That is amazing. And I don't even mean a variegated one, by the way. I'd be happy with a green one. That is just the tits. Look at the size of it. Look at its ears. Look at its ears. Look at the size of its ears. So if I put my hand up, you can see just how big the ears are. How good is that? So good news and bad news, guys. But this is exactly what happens when you bring in plants. This is why things cost as much as they do sometimes. Pray for me because this was, this was a lot more impressive when it came in. See, we've just lost the top of a leaf. It was going to go anyway. So what have we got now? Yeah, we've got that and these are the two that are left. Now that's the newest leaf now. So that might be all right. It's obviously got smaller. It was going to. It'll have been cut to root before it was sold. That was the one before that. Yes, that was the next newest leaf. That's really impressive, that one. I would love that if that was just permanently rooted in a vase and it didn't even grow. It just stayed like that. How good would that be? So yeah, that's variegated billetai. That is not really impressive, and it should be because it's variegated billetai. I mean, he is, but that's about it. So I'll let you know how he goes. Hopefully we don't lose him. If anyone's wanting to see the root, because you probably are, because you're probably thinking, ooh, what's happened with it? Um, if I show you that there, that's gone right there. So it doesn't really matter what's happened to the rest of it because that's gone. Um, top of the other root... It's not feeling much better actually. It's definitely snapped here, but I think it's gone from much further up, just so you can see though, the state of it. So that's going to be with me for some time until it gets better. Hopefully I don't have a situation like the last variegated billetai, because as you all know, I had that thing for years and it stopped variegating. So hopefully this is fine. Clearly there's some excellent, excellent DNA in here. Fingers crossed. Remind me to update you on this because I'm likely to forget, especially if it dies. So I will let you know how it goes. Uh, yeah, very gay build high. I'm going to put him down here, guys, so nothing bad happens to him. There we go. Right, the next plant I have to show you is a wish list plant, and it has been on my wish list since, I want to say, 2021, which doesn't actually sound that long. You know what? Maybe it was 2020. Was it the end of 2020? It might have been, you know. Anyway, I've had this on my wish list for ages. I love the green version of this plant. I'm obsessed with it. I had the green version of this plant on my wall. I have narrow forms of this plant, which are equally nice. I think I kind of like the fat version more, though, to be honest. This next plant is kind of in a state similar to the Bilati, so unfortunately it's not at its best, but I at least have one good leaf to show you and you can fawn over that. So I'm going to pick it up. I'm very, very happy about this. I realize there may be a bit of work involved. I realize there may be a lot of reversion involved because I'll get into it when I pick it up, but essentially I've spoken a lot about how unstable this plant is. So I'm not expecting the easiest ride with this plant. Anyway, I've, I've got to show you this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> can you see him? This beautiful specimen here is a philodendron golden dragon variegata and honestly i thought it was going to be a few years yet before i got one because the prices were insane and everything else i got a really good deal on this one so i'm quite happy with it but i, I literally i don't know what to tell you other than i just did not expect to get this plant this soon i'm not expecting an easy ride i will take you through why i think that is when we go around the plant but this is the best leaf so i'm definitely going to show you this up close I'm going to show you very gently because I would love a picture of this for Instagram before it dies because the other leaves have taken a bit of a hit actually. So I'm going to show you that. You need to understand how absolutely stunning this plant is. For me, it's the shape, right? Like, look at the shape. Can I hold it in front of my t-shirt and then you get a really good idea there. Look at that. Seriously. Oh, <gasps> that's so pretty. Okay, so the plant looks like this which is, is not impressive. I'm being rang. Will you stop? It's a random mobile number. Maybe it's the Amazon man. So we have, this one is the lowest one. Again, good genetics, right? Lovely variegation on that, but it's, it's taken a dive. The next leaf is this one, but he has taken a bit of a dive in shipping. And then 
you have the beautiful one, which I really must take a picture of, and then you have this guy. Now, this guy does have variegation going up him. He snapped in the mail, but he's also pretty green. He's not 100% green. There's like, oh, honestly, it's barely there, but there's a tiny slither of white at the bottom. Can you see that? That's a big shame because clearly he's going to need to cut to see if he can grow nicely. Now I might not do that yet. I might leave him as he is, grow him up while the variegation is remotely stable, assuming this fixes itself, and then we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure what to do. I knew this plant was going to be work, guys. Honestly, I know you're probably going to tell me, yeah, but it's going to revert. And it's like, yeah, probably will. I don't know. We can find out together though, can we not? But let's just keep the camera on this bit because this, 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 this is what I thought of when I thought of this plant. It scares me that this is half moon. I know, I've spoken about half moon variegation a lot. Essentially, I should do a video on this, but I don't like it because when you chop and propagate from it, it's very hard to then get a stable propagation. You kind of end up sometimes getting all white, all green, all white, all green. It's not ideal. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. But, oh, I mean, I should stop bashing it and just appreciate it for how absolutely awesome it is. See if I can get it nice and close to the camera. Honestly, how amazing is he? How amazing is he? He's so pretty, oh my god. So, that is Philodendron, Golden Dragon Variegata. Very excited. He don't look too hot, but let's see how he goes. I must take a picture of him for Instagram. I just must. I just must. I'm going to have to do that very, very shortly because he's so pretty. He's so pretty. I might need to get that today before something happens. Philodendron, Golden Dragon Variegata. Wish me luck. That might do it. I'm gonna need a stool for this. <laughs> oh my god. Let's put him down. Let's see how he looks. How does he look? He looks shit. He looks shit. Let me just move the camera. So I think this is probably as good as we're gonna get. This is the last plant in my hall, guys, and I'm having to look at my monitor to see if I can actually see anything. Let me just put this in front. This is a nightmare, is it not? Right, okay, so, 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 so. He is a monster, literally. This right here is yet another monster mint. And as you can probably see, this one's a little bit of a beast, actually. I had to remove two leaves from him this morning because he was going a bit yellow, just due to acclimation and shipping and everything else. But he's kind of gorgeous, is he not? Now, if you couldn't already tell, the plan from this guy is to propagate him. Hence, I bought an awful lot of them, as you can probably see. He's on a makeshift pole. Um, he's not really adhering to the pole because he's only been here a week. And he probably won't because, again, I'm going to cut him down. But this is my beautiful Monstera Mint. If you've been watching this channel, you'll know I already have Monstera Mint. There is some... wherever I'm pointing, kind of behind me. It's kind of over here, right there in the frame. You might be able to see where it is. But I got some more for the sake of starting to propagate and get them out because I think this is a monster that I've tried to ignore for some time. And I've said this on my channel before. I tried to ignore this for like two years and I'm kind of done ignoring it. And although I, I like the plant, I'm not crazy about it. Everyone else seems to be crazy about it. And being that I own a shop, it's probably about time I kind of got in on that, right? So I bought this guy and I don't know if you can tell how many nodes he has. I was going to chop him, but I thought you guys would really want to see him as he is. How big is this plant right now? <laughs> Literally. This is a thumbnail, is it not? My God. Hang on. He's so big. So he's actually, he's kind of like a double tree. Let me try and lift him up. He's not heavy. He's just really annoying. Can we kind of, let me just get in the right way above the camera. You kind of see there, there's kind of two trees coming out of one. He's very cool, isn't he? He's got a lot of nodes going on. He's very nice. We'll put him back down because honestly, it's probably just easier to show you him this way. I mean, I can't really stand and just start moving this around, can I? So I'm just trying to find my monitor. So he is what he is. He's large. He's in charge. He may need to pay me some rent because he's taken up a lot of space in my shop. But he's very gorgeous, isn't he? This is obviously my favorite leaf, but it's also one of the newest. He does have this one here as well. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, you can. He's got a lovely one near me. He's got a lot of leaves. I've, should I count them for you? Hang on one moment. 14 or 15 leaves somewhere around that arena. There's a lot. There's a lot. They've got varying degrees of mint on. Like I think this one here is less. We have one here that's got a good amount on. We have one here that's got a lovely amount on. Give me one moment. Let me show you it. That's got a beautiful amount of mint on. This one again has less. It's not quite broken through. Generally quite a varied result. Let me just crisscross this one. That's got a little bit more. It's quite a bright one, that one. 
And there you have it. Oh, we've gone through that one. There's one back here that, again, is not so bright. So really, I would argue it needs propagating and it needs a bit of a chop just to see what's going on. But that's basically him. That is basically him. I know you're probably thinking I'm nuts. And honestly, I semi-agree with you. This is a bit ridiculous because I have to have space to propagate this. And I'm so full up. But honestly, how cute is he, though? Isn't he beautiful? He's really, really nice. I think I like my my original guy that I got more than this guy, but I think that's just because this guy intimidates me so much because he's so big and I'm going to have to cut him very, very soon. But I've genuinely delayed cutting him so you guys could see what he's like. If I just stand back with him so you get a sense next to my body how big he is. He's uh, he's not fooling around. Look at that. I just look like a monstera with legs right now. It's great. <laughs> this is him. This is Monstera Deliciosa Mint. Uh, that would be small form, by the way. Pretty sure that's what he is. He does have some frills behind his petioles, where the petiole insertion is. But I must tell you, that is not a definitive way of telling. I've said this before. A lot of people disagreed with me. But seeing the little ripples on the back of the petioles near where, you know, it inserts into the leaf. If you see those ripples, that does not mean it's large because mature small forms can get it too. So not ideal, I realize. But pretty sure he's small form, even though... To be honest, those internodes are very, very small. Can you see that? Just before I put them back, yeah. The internodes there seem very, very small, but I am confident he's small. If I've got that wrong, I will let you know, but I'm pretty sure he's small. You can kind of tell, to be honest, by this big leaf here. If it was a large form, you'd be getting a lot more fenestrations, I think. But he's pretty sexy, is he not? Let's just get this one up to the camera before I put him down. Look at him, oh my goodness. Those fenestrations go really far into the center. I should probably check that against my other ones because that seems very... I don't know. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of fenestration there. But anyway, that is Monstera Mint. And I'm going to put him back down an aisle because he's living in an aisle. He's that big. So give me one moment. I'm not done with this stool yet, though. One more plant to put on it. Let me pop it on and I will show you what I got in this morning because very, very nice. You may have noticed him because he's way back here. I'm gonna pick him up. Is he heavy? Mm, a little bit, a little bit. Right, can we see anything? No, we can't. Give me one moment, I will adjust the camera. Forgive the makeshift attitude of this video, guys, but here I have, I'm looking at my monitor, that's how far down I am from you now. You're up here, monitor is all the way down here. But this here, as you might be able to tell, is variegated Strelitzia. The cool thing about this Strelitzia, though, where are you? You're up here. The cool thing about this Strelitzia is it's not Strelitzia Nikolai. Now, I have one. I have two in here. I don't think I can get to it. Can I get to it? Mm, not really, to be honest. Strelitzia Nikolai is a bird of paradise as well. It's known as the white bird of paradise. It produces white flowers. The leaves are more paddly. It's normally the bird of paradise you get in garden centers, in Ikea, wherever you want. That's normally the one that occurs. This one is not. This one is the other one, the one that you tend to see more in foreign countries. I'm not saying you don't see the other one in foreign countries, but for example, whenever I go to like Morocco, Egypt, anywhere like that, this is the one that you see. This is the plant that gives you those beautiful orange bird of paradise flowers. This is Strelitzia reginae. I think that's how you say it. And well, it's variegated. So I have to show you it. And can we just appreciate, I realize it's at the top of the camera, but can we just appreciate how awesome it is? That is not, not a light plant. Can we show you that? Can we get that on camera so you can see how amazing that is? Look at that. How beautiful is that? The whole plant, by the way, God, I love that's heavy. How heavy is that? Does it say? No, I probably did on the shipping box. The whole plant has such a beautiful spread of variegation. It's like you never have to worry about getting a green leaf because it's just so beautifully dispersed. It's almost like variegated banana levels of dispersion. It's beautiful. So I can show you some of the leaves. There's a tiny leaf here. Sorry, I can't zoom in, but I'm sure you appreciate why. Tiny leaf here. Then... We've got this leaf here that's very pretty. We've got this leaf up here that's very pretty. It's obviously had a trim, it's had a bit of a burn. This beautiful specimen, this is the newest leaf, so very pleased about him. As I say, we've got this one here. We also have this one here, like so. Uh, what else have we got? You're not connected, you're a different plant. Yeah, that's as far as we go there. We've got smaller ones on this side. I wonder if I can zoom in with the camera. Can I? Mm, sort of, sort of. I appreciate that's not, not ideal. So it's easier for me to move this rather than to move the camera, guys. But can you see there how amazingly pretty 
top of this is. Oh, that is so, so, so nice. So yeah, Ben actually found this. Wasn't my find, this one. And he's very excited about it because I think he's been looking for one of these. Let me just zoom you back out. He's been looking for one of these for like, I don't even know how long. So really, really pleased to have it. How pretty is it? Now, obviously it'd be great if he popped. I don't know if he will. I'm gonna probably keep him quite pop bound to see if I can encourage him to make some babies. He may, he may not. He wasn't really bought to buy and sell. He was bought because he's amazing. And you don't often see this version of a Strelitzia that is variegated. Again, not saying they don't happen, but generally because the other one is more mass produced and you see it everywhere, the chances of variegated ones are quite high, I would say. Certainly higher than what they were. I have two of them in this unit alone. Actually, I'm lying, I have three. Where's the third? Did it revert? One minute, guys. I have three, I don't have two. Where's the third? Where is the third? Oh my God. We are not ending this video till I figure out where the third is. Oh, I found him. He might have preferred, actually. He may remember this one in this pot from a long time ago. He, this is a leaf that kind of snapped, but there is some variegation on it. The new one has nothing on it. So it was weak anyway, because honestly it only had like a little bit on the tiny, tiny flex up it. So it wasn't super variegated anyway, but as you can probably tell, not a problem with this guy. But yeah, anyway, difference for Lizia from that one. So that concludes, along with my beautiful Strelitzia, the haul for today. This was probably a bit of a garbled mess, actually. It's been a bit of a journey. I should probably do something about that guy right there, the billet eye. Let's make sure I do something with that after this video. Oh, I'm out of breath. I hope you enjoyed this plant haul this week. Thank you for being very patient with me. I do ask your patience in the next few weeks as well. Those of you that don't know, my house has finally arrived along with some other things like litigation and stuff that's still ongoing with the horse, stuff like that. So long story short, I'm gonna be a very, very busy bee. So if what you get from me is mainly hauls, reports and stuff like that through the next few weeks, I ask your patience and I hope that you appreciate the spot I'm in with getting everything ready because I'm trying to get my house ready for Christmas so that I can have Christmas in my house because how good would that be? So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for being patient with me. And if you like this video, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment on anything we've talked about in this video. Strawberry shake, the strelitzia, the ferns, anything you like. And if you haven't already subscribed and you want to see loads more hauls, because I do them a lot, as you can probably imagine, then please feel free to subscribe. That's it for this week's video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.